I got an email from T Public, and I wasn't surprised to get this email because after two weeks ago, Redbubble announced that they are going to take fee. I was just waiting to get it from T Public also because, as we know, Redbubble and T Public are the same company. I want to go over the email I just got so we understand what the new fee for T Public, and then we will go to my T Public store dashboard and we will see what I'm going to pay for T Public's fees. In the past 12 years, I'm in online business marketing and everything, and I started to do my print on demand journey two years ago. When I did that, I decided that I wanted to diversify all of my designs to all of the platforms that have they are doing print on demand. So one of them is TeePublic, okay? So on TeePublic, I had two stores actually. This is an email I just got. Uh, dear T Public Artist, we know you're tired of email like this by now, but, but we need to announce some changes we're making to adapt to the rising cost of hosting and facilitating the, the T Public Marketplace. In other words, there is a recession and they need to do some changes because of the, the recession. There is one thing I don't understand, okay? So you have your products and you have your expenses on those products. So you need to raise the prices if you have other costs because it's not supposed to be from my profit as a designer or as an artist but you know they uh, probably don't want to raise the prices so they are going to take it from the artist from us from the people that actually made this tea public available to people because i don't think they are going to, to create all of the designs by themselves they want us to bring our talent and our creativity to the public, but they actually are going to take money from us. And they basically have two accounts like they have in Redbubble. They re in Redbubble, they have three different accounts. Basically, most of the people that are making money are going to be on the standard, but here they call it in different ways. So they, have, they say, okay, oh, you are the artist or you are a person that's learning how to be an artist. They say that if you have really creati creative artistic designs, they are going to put you on the artisan. And if you are just making, you know, text-based designs like I'm doing, um, then you are going to be on the apprentice. And then you see, note, if you're receiving this email, you are in the app a parentist account. Most of my designs are text-based. Then what they're going to take is the artisan account will earn four dollars on full price, uh, two for discount. Basically they are not going to take any fee from the artisan and then the apprentice are going to pay one dollar every time that three dollars. Like Redbubble they are going to take not 50 percent but almost 50 percent of the earnings. I, I have to say that I'm not surprised by that because when I got into print on demand, I knew that I'm not, it's not my website. Usually I like to build my own web website and sell whatever I want to sell on my website and have my own email list and everything. I saw an opportunity in all, the, all of those print on demand stores and I decided to take a chance. And I have to say that I did had some investments that I put on that because I used the automation softwares to upload everything. But actually, I stopped using that software seven months ago after Redbubble did all of the, the thing. And also after I decided that I'm not going to put more effort on print on demand because I didn't got enough money that it was worth it to, to, to continue doing that. I'm sure that there are people that are getting more sales than what I do. In the past two months on my account, I didn't got any payment, but I have 130 sales. Okay, you can see since like two, two years ago when I started it. And totally for a lifetime, I, I earned $202 uh, dollars and 25 cents. And it's more than what I earned from Redbubble actually. Like, this is not the most profitable store that I have. Remember, it's two years that I got 
$200, so it's not that much. $2 each month, like something between the $2 to $10 each month from Tea Public, and sometimes I don't get anything, like you see. This month, I didn't get anything. For me, it's not, you know, that disappointment because I'm not counting this money for myself, like for our family. I know that I'm not going to earn living from that, but I'm sure that there are people that are really make sales and they get nice commissions and from now on half of it going to go to t public you can get only something between the two dollars to four dollars for a t-shirt and stickers is 50 cents so you're not getting that much money anyway and now i'm trying different thing like with youtube and i'm going to continue post on that topic more on this channel like for the next few weeks I think maybe in the next week or something, I'm, I want to make a video that can help whoever got hurt from all of these changes from Redbubble and Tee Public, and to give some advice what you can do if, if you want to ensure your profits. A lot of my designs are not even showing on the search and this is why I'm not getting that many sales. I think that all of my sales are coming from Google search and not public search. I'm sure that there are people that are going to get hurt from this. I think that we are going to see that on other stores, on other websites like T Public and Redbubble. Maybe Society6 are going to do that and maybe other websites. I don't think that print on demand for me is the, you know, the future. I have those stores and I'm not going to close any of those stores because, you know, whenever I get some money from it, I get the money and I don't need to do anything for that. And I already put all the efforts and all the investments, so I don't want to delete it just because of that. And I think no one should delete their account because all of those changes, because, you know, you get something from it. If you are going to delete it, you're not going to get anything from it. And anyway, it's their website and they can decide whatever they want. They can ban you any, any day that they want for whatever reason. And they are not going to let you know why. Do whatever you think you should do, but I think you should not delete your stores because of that, because we are in recession and whatever you get from the store, you get from the store. And it's another place that you have your design and you just diversify your income. So, you know, sometimes in business, there are streams that are getting um, slower and you get less money from that. If it, you don't need to do anything for, it, for that and it's passive income, you should let it go and just leave it alone. I don't think I'm going to put any more effort on print on demand anyway, not on Redbubble, not on Tee Public. I'm making some efforts on Zazzle sometimes, but also Society6, I'm not getting too much money anyway, so I'm not going to put there anything. Like, I'm not going to put any effort there also. Like, I'm getting from all of the website together something between the um, $20 to the $100 a month okay all of them together so i don't think it's worth it for me but you know i'm not a designer also so it's not my passion it's just another experiment that i made um and i tried to do to see if i will get some money passive income from something but I never put too much effort in it. Everyone should do their own decisions. I really hope to see you more for more video here on my channel. And I want to talk in future videos about how you can diversify your income and how you can protect yourself from things like this one, when the website decide to change their rules and whatever you sign for. This is it for today and I will see you next time.